Hey everyone, welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. Last time out, we managed to rescue Iris Tanner, who uh, had long evaded to Dakota's calls for uh, a little bit of cooperation in the Badlands here, snubbed her for long enough and then found herself in need of her services when the wraiths rolled in on her turf and took her hostage in her own workshop. So uh, we managed to get those two together for, uh, for to strike up a little business deal and then we came out here into the middle of... Um well, frankly, bumfuck nowhere, to take on cyber psycho um, Uralio Alma, I believe his name is. Yeah, Uralio Alma. Um, an Aldecaldo's chap who unfortunately had uh, managed to befall a bit of a twisted fate at the hands of the Wraiths. I'm beginning to uh, take a certain uh, stern disliking to these Wraith fellows. They don't seem the most kosher sort. Now, let's take a look at where that leaves us. So we're out here in the middle of pretty much nowhere. Uh, let's see, what jobs have we got? We've got a couple of vehicles that we still need to pick up. There's a Galena there and the Mizutani. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it at the Sunset Motel. I was looking at the wrong place. So there's, there's a Mizutani Shion Coyote uh, waiting for us out here as well. I thought there was a third. Maybe I dreamt it, but anyway. Uh, jobs. Let's see. Have we... Hold on. I thought we still had a couple of jobs out this way. Maybe not. Huh. Have we just got... We've only got a couple of jobs out here? Oh, that's River. So... Wait, something doesn't seem right. That's all the jobs we've got? I honestly thought we had a couple more around here. Well, we're nearly finished in the Badlands then. So let's make our way over to here. Now that's interesting. We're being led back into the tunnel where Nash and the rest of his Raffin buddies will hold up. Hmm. Very interesting. Now I have received a tip off uh, a couple of times now. Yes, once from Robert in the comments, and I had to go back and check. Once from Arwen Bloodmoon as well, both telling me that there's a vehicle, a very interesting vehicle that is, uh... Let's see, what am I actually called here? Oh, <laughs> there we are. Hello. Um, yeah, an interesting vehicle waiting to be picked up in that very same tunnel. So, I thought I had to be street cred level 45 for that to become available to me, so... If it is that vehicle, I'm most intrigued. Um, otherwise, it could, of course, be somebody who's just moved in on the the little abandoned mining facility that's stuffed away inside that tunnel and who has uh, appropriated Nash's setup for their own devices. Well, we'll soon see, because it's not too far off now. It's... Uh, what? Easy. <laughs> There's the Union Railroad uh, control tower that we took out before. The tunnel is just across the way here. Whoa, easy. Easy. Here we go. Here's the tunnel entrance. Right, let's... Uh, <laughs> Going into this at full speed is not advised. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I thought that was. Uh, I thought I was being a little bit adventurous. <laughs> I was about to say not advised, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm quite the maverick. And then instantly paid the pro. Oh, okay. We we uh, apparently did a 180. <laughs> Remember, kids, no driving at speed in enclosed areas. Lonely end in tears. Right. How Panna managed to uh, steer a. Um, what is it, a Thornton Macca guy through this? I have no idea. Do you know what? <laughs> we might be best just going on foot. In fact, I think I'll do that. A little bit too rickety and bumpy for my liking. Uh, oh. Oh, it's not even... It's not even leading us all the way into Nash's old... B Well, well. You what now? Merc Man returns again once more forever. <laughs> what? Oh my god, please say, please say I can have this. It's got a car icon above it. Please say I can have this. Oh my. <gasps> what? 
Johnny, what's going on? Merc man returns again once more forever. Right, we've got a crafting spec for a flashbang. Okay, that's not too shabby. Um, Thermoactive tear resistant techie shirt. All right, we'll take it. And uh, what have we got down here? Crafting spec for EMP. I so dearly love a crafting spec for a, uh, a gash grenade, but I suppose you can't have it all. Nice. Okay, this is turning out quite nicely so far. Grandstand sight. And read this every day. Never give up. Remember your purpose. Don't be afraid. Oh, we can get in the car. The objective's just updated. We can get in the car. Don't be afraid. There's nothing there. That's what they always told me, but the night my parents were murdered, I knew I had seen something in the dark of the night. I searched for it a long time, cloaked myself in the darkness, learning it, understanding it, merging with it. I realized in its depths uh, where light cannot escape, there was only one thing to fear. Myself. I became the shadow. I became vengeance. I became the man Night City doesn't deserve. I became Merkman. <laughs> Not the most appealing of names, I'll be honest. I deliver the vengeance, destruction, and justice necessary to save this dying city from itself, and I will do so until the day my heart no longer beats inside my chest. <laughs> okay. Um, am I to become Merkman? Oh my god, it's opened as well. Look at the interior! <gasps> Plush white and green tones. Oh, this is sexy! Oh, it's ours! Vehicle acquired! Oh, that's sick. Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> I was trying to zoom in on the dash. I forgot I'm at the wheel of a, uh, a wheel of a vehicle. Oh, my God. Guys, from the comments, thank you so much for the tip-off about this. Oh, man. I really thought I'd have to wait until later on in the game to get this, but... Oh, look at this. This is so cool. Right, I'm driving this very gingerly out of here. Oh, this is slick. And I tell you what, seeing as we're heading back into the city by the looks of it, because I've, I've apparently cleared up all of the uh, all of the side jobs from Dakota, even though I, I, I'm sure there were more marked originally, um, this is going to be perfect for... For traveling back into the city. Oh, nice. Did I do much? Uh, did I do much damage to the back? I hope not. I hope I didn't. <laughs> Please don't say you're all scratched. Oh no! I put a bloody great big scratch down inside of it. Damn it! Why was that just left in a crate in a cave? That's so bizarre. <laughs> right. Let's check our map. Um, let's take a look at the jobs again, just in case. That's so bizarre. I could have swore we had more uh, more jobs waiting for us. Okay, obviously not. Right, so back into the city then, I guess. Um, now a little while back, I did say I do want to come back and meet up with River at some point. Um, let's have a little think about other sort of general side gigs that we've got going on. We need to give Jefferson Perales a call back. Um, it might be worth doing that in a moment, actually. I don't necessarily want to go and meet with him straight away, but it might be worth touching base just to make sure that we've still got the job available. Uh, we do obviously need to meet with Takamura. We've got a couple more side gigs that have snuck back in from Wakako, by the looks of things. And I want to start sweeping through... We went to see Dino Dinovich a while back. I wouldn't mind going and uh, starting to clear out a few of his side gigs. In fact, let's take a look. Is this... That's inside... Yeah, that's in, uh, that's in downtown. Corpo Plaza. Right, let's let's tag that as our objective. Oh, look at this! We've got a we've got a beautiful straight road to open this thing up on as well. Oh, this car's sexy. Oh, listen to it though. Right, better play it safe. Going across dirt roads in a in a supercar probably isn't the best of ideas. Oh, this is so very cool. I must admit, in my uh, in my black trench coat and uh, black cowboy hat, I do feel a little bit underdressed for this car. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Right, let's uh, open her up. Oh my! Oh, it actually, weirdly enough, it actually feels like it moves slower than it sounds. If that makes any sense whatsoever. 
it still moves quick enough. It's uh, it's pretty damn sharp, but uh, the the sound of it's beautiful. It sounds like a Formula One engine. <laughs> oh, this is very cool. Oh, look at the windscreen as well. Oh man, this was. <laughs> my dear little cherry red Maca guy, my my, this was the thing that I loved about that car so much is that it's got this big panoramic panoramic windscreen, but this thing just knocks the spots off of it oh, this is gorgeous and it's just so swift oh yes right, and it glues itself to the road as well it's absolutely welded to the asphalt Ooh, so much so that I actually, weirdly, didn't have much confidence in that handbrake turn actually working. I thought it would, uh, I thought it would just sort of oversteer straight into the barrier, but no, we're good. Right, nip on through. Uh, oh, just passed it. Hold on. Oh yes. Oh look at it. It's matte black as well. <gasps> That's super duper sexy. Oh, Merc man, you've got taste. Do we have... Oh, fantastic. We do have stash access. Nice. Not too shabby at all. Do we have anything uh, at the reverse? Not that it makes any difference whatsoever. Oh, look at that little skinny window. I like that. Oh, that beautiful power plant. Yes. Oh, smell the chew. Mm. Right, now... Uh, let's get on with this side gig then, I guess. So, let me see. We're... Uh, oh, this is Padre. Martha Frix and Gustavo Orta. Vista del Rey's own Romeo and Juliet. Martha Frakes, Gustavo Orta. You know that story. This one's not so different. Martha is in a coma in the hospital. Oh. Her father wants Gustavo to pay. Enter V. Demand quick payment. Details attached. <laughs> yeah, I take it it's a very final form of payment that they're after. Right, gun for hire. Uh, target Gustavo Orta, the building on Pe Petrel Street. Uh, I really thought we were inside the... Um, the Corpo Plaza boundary, so I thought this was going to be one of Dino's, but obviously we're still nudging into Haywood. The world is built on certain rules, rules that don't appear out of nothing, which grew from the blood and mistakes of our predecessors. These rules are meant to protect us, but the young disregard them. They believe they are special, that they are not held by the same rules, that fate is theirs to tempt. Martha Frakes believed the same, and now sleeps in a coma after taking a bullet to the head. Oh shit. The streets tell me this is her punishment for abandoning family. The girl turned from her own father, Nolan Frakes, to side with the enemy, Gustavo Orta. Oh, interesting. So what's her name? Martha Frakes. Gustavo Orta was the enemy. Um, but what the street says doesn't matter. Not to Nolan. He believes Gustavo is solely responsible for what happened to his daughter. Let's fulfill the wish of a father desperate for revenge. He is paying, after all. To Gustavo's apartment. Deal with him. Don't worry about authorization. My netrunner made sure you won't run into any problems. And FYI, if you hadn't caught on yet, Gustavo is Valentino's. I thought so. Nolan is 6th Street. Stay sharp. Right, okay. So the Romeo and Juliet reference was obviously going to be opposing gangs. With a name like Gustavo Orta, I kind of assumed, and it looks as though he's got gold chrome on his hand in that picture, kind of assumed he was Valentino's. Um... Okay, and uh, Nolan is 6th Street. Okay. Now, this is interesting. This is something I thought quite a few times with um, with Wakako. She's, when the price is right, very willing to turn on her own gang. And it looks as though Padre might be of the same persuasion. I got a ticket to heaven on earth. You want it? <laughs> huh. Funny. Okay, uh, right, we need to head to the 32nd floor. This looks like a dingy little establishment, doesn't it? So, yeah, we're, um... Yeah, yeah this is quite obviously Valentino's territory, so we're, uh, We're quite clearly still on the edge of, uh, of Haywood. This is Vista del Rey, if I'm not mistaken. Right, um, so we just need to take the guy out. No creeping around, no having to uh, maintain stealth. This is apartment. Why do I feel there's going to be a twist to this? 
And why can I hear a camera over here? That's bizarre. Right, you're nobody of uh, of any relevance. Right, so we're going to Gustavo's apartment. We can force the door open, or we can call the guy. Now, is there any way to? Is there anything I can scan to try? Hold on. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Oh, there is a camera there. <laughs> I just breezed past it. Let's just uh, pop that off. Oh, in fact, actually. I doubt there's going to be a camera inside the apartment, but you never know. Oh, apparently there's a laptop in there. Uh, where the hell's this? Wait, what? Where's this? Is this his apart? No. This isn't his apartment, is it? Surely. Uh, a Valentino Sanguinario? I mean, maybe it is. Another Sanguinario. Uh, right, okay. Um, let's get you into friendly mode. Then let's control you so that we can get this one into friendly mode. That should keep everybody inside tagged for us. Oh, hold on. No, Valentino's Gangoon. Right, I'm most baffled because the interior of this place looks nothing like the exterior. Huh. All right. Um, yeah. There it is. Oh, this is the ground floor. No, it isn't. This is the upper floor. Right, we can use technical ability there. Okay, this goes into a maintenance room. Oh. Oh, this is... Hold on. Thought that might have shut off the power inside or something, maybe. Uh, epic upgrade components. Max dock. Nice. Not too bad. Not a bad little haul. Why would you... Why would you leave 400 odd... Eddie's just sitting in a uh, a box in a maintenance cupboard. Right, let's because we're not running a fucking charity, mano. Let's panic, Morcot. Achilles tendon is the big one above the hill. Huh? Maybe that'll teach that idiota to pay his debts on time. And oh, if no. it doesn't, then he won't be running away that easy. It's like somebody's having a, a bit of a hard time. Got anybody? Oh, hello. Hold on. There's someone. Who's that? Is that anybody of any interest? Damn it. Mm, Valentino's macho. Well, this is... The, the corridor really does look at odds with everything inside the apartment, doesn't it? Uh, let's have a quick hack here. Again, let's go with lines two and three. So E9... Oh, if we can do 7A FFE9, maybe. 7A... No, we can't do that straight off. Uh... Have we got any 7As in line with an FF? I'm not sure that we have, actually. Hold on. Uh... No, that's annoying. Right, let's just go for the middle. We'll make it nice and easy. Uh, E9551C, and then see where we go from there. Uh, we drop down to uh, E9. Yeah, do that. E9551C. Can we do anything from here? No, we can't really, can we? Screw it. It's not our main objective, so we'll leave that. Right, let's see what we have here. Anything out here we could run distract on? There isn't really. Let's get you distracted over to there. <laughs> now, do you have... You do not have break hold. Have a really quick scan. Grab! Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Non-lethal. Lovely. All right, you're a little bit exposed there, but uh, you'll do for now. Which way are you facing? You're facing away. Yes, 
Oh, that's a little bit of a danger zone over there. Who have we got here? Sanguinario. Wait, you didn't tag. There we go. And uh, we got uh, somebody over here as well. Valentino's Gangoon. Um, hmm, you might be a decent target, actually. Where is the one that was by the window? A little bit worried that the one that was leaning by the window having that conversation is uh, no longer vis visible. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to have to mash through all of the Euro dollars first, aren't I? Here we go. Uh, could really do with... Shit. Sit down. Quick. <laughs> Lie down. Stay there. <laughs> Man, could really do with more hidey holes for these bodies. Right, so that guy's facing us. Oh, shit. Crap. That's a problem. One of them must have spotted one of the bodies. All right, let's get system reset on you. I'd like to try to take these guys down non-lethally, if possible. Given V's background and sort of natural affinity with the Valentinos as a whole. Ah, there you are. Why can I not tag you? Damn it! No, I don't want to tag the bloody fridge! Damn it! Okay. Right, let's see if... Uh, can we get her distracted with that free fridge, actually? Yes, we can. Right, that'll do. That should allow us to... Uh... Oh, poo. Damn it, we've got a guy here. That's inconvenient. Can I distract him with this, maybe? Oh, no! Problems! Um, <laughs> There's not a lot we can do here. We're going to have to take this guy down. Oh! I should have checked my loadout. <laughs> apparently, apparently I don't have an efficient loadout here. That's a bit of a shame. However, I do have Lizzie, which is a shoot me, damn it! Oh man! We'll uh, we'll give this another little try. Because we're not running a fucking charity, Mano. Let's... Uh, right, you must be the guy that disappears Let's into the panic, far room. God. Achilles tendon is the big one above the hill. Maybe that'll teach that idiot. So we'll distract you again to here. Because no! this... <laughs> this part at least no, seemed to go fairly successfully. <laughs> huh? You're right, come with me. Let's dance! Now, I am still a little worried that it might have been this body that they actually spotted, so I would like to find a hiding spot for that if I can. Um, uh, let's, uh, let's pick you up. Move you out of here. Right, there's no way in hell they're going to spot spot him if he's out there because they can't get enough of an angle through that window so the, that's fine we'll skip the access point for now maybe clear that up a little bit later right now can we possibly take this goon out damn it And then shift him out onto the balcony as well. Am I, gonna, am I gonna get away with that? Ooh, I am. Interesting. Okie dokie. Night City Hall reminds you that the District of Pacifica continues to remain outside right. of NCPD. Two down. Do not enter Pacifica under any Who's next? So we've got her up there. We've got him over there. Uh, I wonder if a distract on this speaker would reach her. Yes, it would. 
let's draw her over there. That chappy over there might pose a bit of a problem. That person seems distracted on a computer. We've also got to remember that there is someone somewhere upstairs by the looks of things. Oh, hello. Oh, damn, he was already selected. I just deselected him. Poo. Right, you don't have break hold. Oh, I think that chap might pose a problem. Quick march. Did we get away with it? Oh, man. I think... I think we just about got away with that one. Right. I'm going to... Once I deposit this young lady... There you are. Take out some of the night air. Um, let's... Camera control... And then bounce to this... No, not this camera. This camera. Let's see if we can't spot that guy again. He's upstairs somewhere. Damn it. He's not going to... Uh, he's not going to expose his position, is he? Dagnamit. Right. What I'd like to do... Can I see the speaker from there? No, I can't. Can I? Okay. I'm wondering if I might be able to draw this chap out towards me. With that speaker, perhaps? No, it's not going to be. Uh, it's not going to be within his range, is it? Oh. Ah, damn. That's going to bring the. Wait, that's going to bring the guy down from upstairs. That might be useful, actually. I think that's attracted the guy from upstairs. Yes, it has. What? Whoa, hold on. Wait, both. Hold on. Why all three of them? Why? <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to actually start a staff meeting here that's bloody weird why have all three of them been attracted right well um, might give us an opportunity to take the last of them out who have we got here ah that's Gustavo Orta and he was the last one Hold on, are these tagged? No, they're not. He was the last one to come down to this level, so by rights, he should be the last right. one to go back upstairs, and he does not have break hold. Go with me, Mr. Orta! Right. Schnapp! Contract fulfilled. <laughs> what do you got here? A brooch. Ooh, nice. And an archive conversation between Gust Gustavo and Carubo. There's a problem. You heard what happened. Those pendejos from Six. What about them? You must find them and thank them for me. I pay well. Why ask me? Can't drag people into this. I hear you used to have a talent for giving thanks. Not wrong, am I? No, it's true. Used to is right. Testing the waters? Fine, I'll double the pay. Double of zero is still zero. Looking to start a private war with Sixth Street? You asked the wrong man. Oh, interesting. Right, let's um, let's just uh, shift this guy out of here, shall we? Bye bye, Gustavo. <laughs> what edge of the building is that? That's the the sort of southern corner of the building. <laughs> might be uh, might be fun seeing if he's still there later on. Right, well, in for a penny. We might as well continue and uh, see if we can't take the rest of these goons out. Let's get you distracted to there. Now, are you... You do not have break hold. Oh, these Valentino fools. Oh, nuts. That's disappointing. Um, maybe distract with that instead. Will that work? Oh, it doesn't seem to. Oh, hang on. Did that catch his attention? I feel like it might have. Yes, it has. Lovely stuff. Sneakity slidery snoo. Grab. Shove. Chill. Right, excellent. So we've only got the one guy down on this floor now, who's in the far corner. Uh, I'll have a little brief scanneroo, see if there's anything here. I don't believe that there is. 
This is a most expansive apartment. I uh, am much approved. Right, now, I could do with... Ah, nuts. I've lost the bead on the guy upstairs. What if I run a ping? I just want to get an idea of where this chap is up here. Wait, where is he? Oh, yes, it takes a couple of seconds for the equipment ping to travel to personnel. Oh, come on, it doesn't take that long. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see if I can't get a bead on him as I backpedal here. Oh, there he is. Uh, right. Oh, what's that up on the wall? Is that... What is that? An air conditioner. Run distract on that. Who the hell's fucking around now? Uh, let's see. You also do not have brake hold. Here's a grab. Here's a spin. Hide. Good night, sir. Right. Marvellous. Um, we are doing well up here, aren't we? Now, I'm, th I'm guessing this is the room where Ortega was hiding out. I think it is. Um, right, seeing as he's the last one alive, we can just do a system reset on this chap to put him to sleep. And that's our, uh, that's our objective clear. Awesome. Time to uh, loot the living shit out of this guy. <laughs> I just killed him. I might as well uh, take all of his stuff as well. No, no. We got an archive conversation between Jose and Gustavo. Gustavo heard what happened. You're in our prayers, amigo. We're holding a mass for Martha and ask the good Lord for a quick recovery. Prayers? Thanks. I don't know what else you need, but me and the boys are here for you anytime. Just call, we're there. Right, now. Couple of hints here that Gustavo had it in for Sixth Street all along. I'm wondering whether he was ever uh, actually into Martha at all. Uh, what have we got? An RT46 Buria. We'll take you. Oh. Nice little private balcony here. This is very cool. Shame it just stares straight into an ugly apartment building. Yeah, nothing there. Uh, what? Whoa, hold up. The hell's this? No, don't tell me. That's not Martha, is it? Don't tell me that's Martha. That looks like um, a security camera feed from inside some sort of medical facility or a hospital, I guess. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, right, let's grab you. Let's have a little snoopity snoo on your emails while we're here. Two messages. Your car from Manolette to Gustavo Orta. Gotta admit, we didn't expect much from your ride, but we breathed new life into her somehow. It looked like you dragged it back from the front lines of a war zone, amigo. Anyways, we've replaced the radiators, doctored the bodywork, and put in bulletproof glass for the rear windows like you asked. She's ready for pickup in two days, Manolette. Eyes on M. I wonder if that's Martha. From Gustavo to Ceriza. Ceriza, it's quick work. The hospital, you know which. I need 24-hour surveillance, and I need it now, in case some fucker from sick tries to get in M's room. One of the nurses is my cuz, Jose. He'll take you through to the kitchen. The net's probably secure, but... Uh, secure type, but that part's up to your uh, your USR chair jock, Gustavo. You something chair jock? Chair jock being a net runner, I guess. So, right, so he did request for there to be a video feed straight into Martha's room. Look at the blood poured down her. Oh, man. Thing is, I can't tell whether he did that out of concern or whether he wanted to make sure she was dead. Part of me, the, the skeptic in me, is wondering if uh, his relationship with her was a complete ruse. Right, let's see, 7A... I did 7A551C, 55FF55. 7A551C... 55... Have we got a 55 over an FF? Yeah, 55FF55. Nice. 7A55... 1C55 FF55. Nice. Yeah, was that his plan all along? To just take out the. Oh, that's the main door. 
Do these work? No. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, whether well, that was his plan to just take out the daughter of... Oh. Oh. Oh, yes, this is the... Oh, right, this is the door out into the corridor we, we approached from. That one up at the top of the stairs must be something completely different. Uh, let's get you out of the way. Would you mind moving, please? You're in the way of my looting activities. Thank you. Mm, grab all that. And order ASAP. We need more candy on the streets and the warehouses for some uh, some back supply. Vista might start to dry up and we'll need the scratch. Fuck knows what's going to happen next. Gustavo's in mourning after what those six street assholes did to his woman. Oh, might finally see the end of the war. Wait, it did say that in the brief, didn't it? Hmm, perhaps I was being a little bit too hard on him. I think they genuinely were together and they were happy together. But uh, yeah, Sixth Street did not take kindly to one of their one of their children running a bit too close to the Valentinos. Sad, sad times. Got a quasar. Nothing of interest there. Lots and lots of Edwards. Always welcome. Lots and lots of Edwards. And another computer. What have we? Two more messages. Your car. Same as... Yeah, same as before. And some junk. Local network. Turn off the cameras. No need for them to remain on. Grab some more eddies. Um, 5555FF55BD should do it. So... 5555 five, five, five doesn't lead to an FF. 5555 five, 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 FF. Yeah, that'll work. 5555 five, 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 FF55BD. Five, 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 Marvelous stuff. Right. Um, that's pretty much all available to us by the looks of it. Um, one last access point, and then we'll get the heck out of here. Uh, if we do one C, FF, FF, BD, one C, five, five, one C. Yeah, nice. Five, five. Uh, wait. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I've done it wrong. Oh, nuts. Um, right, I picked up the wrong thing. Uh, BD, one C, five, five, one C. Oh, we can still get an FF, FF. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't the way I planned it, but I still managed to get lines two and three. I'll short that up as a success. Uh, where was it? Through here, wasn't it? Right. Get the hell out before reinforcements arrive. Well, that was pretty smooth. Oh, well, I mean, apart from the whole dying thing. But if we overlook that, that was a pretty smooth operation. Clean. Wonderful. Oh. Those who exact justice do so on behalf of our Lord. You've done well, V. Well, thanks. I know this isn't always easy. And that's why I applaud your decision today. Contract closed. Wait, this is the corner. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> In fact... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, wait, hold on. Who's spotted us? Who's taken objection to our presence? Let's, uh... Let's pop him down here as a little bit of a, um... Little bit of a message to the rest of them. <laughs> okay. Um, after that little bit of sadism, let's uh, hop back into our beautiful vehicle. I didn't actually pick up what it is. It's a Rayfield Caliburn. Lovely, lovely. Oh, so book. cool. Now, um, we're not too far away from another one, I'd imagine. Now, is this... Right, those... That little cluster there looks like that's definitely down in Vista del Rey. So we'll skip past that one and head... Oh, danger very high. Maybe we'll avoid that. Danger high, danger moderate... Danger moderate. Let's um, let's travel around to this one. This is right on the border of In the shade Corpo of Plaza, tree, isn't it? A treasure of this generation, Granchester, who is an AI created by Raven Microsoft. Okay, has been we'll go and uh, over the years. 
venture over to this one. I'm not sure how how much we'll be able to get done of this one, but at least uh, try and pick up the thread of what this side job is. This one's for Dino Dinovic. So, oh, easy. Don't you dare scratch my car. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose it was a little bit wishful thinking that um, I'm going to keep this thing intact for uh, for long enough to truly enjoy its majesty. Seeing as it is me that's behind the wheel here. Right, what have we? Um, right, this is in a shady little side building by the looks of it. Uh, not there. Oh, Regina. Ooh, is it Cyber Psycho? Hey, a little bit ago, a tiger claw called for help. Ugh. Attacked by a certain Aki. At least that's what they call the rogue tiger hunter. He's been picking off his own in silent but spectacular fashion. My gut says this Aki had a cyber psychotic break, but I'd like to know for sure. Don't kill him if you don't have to, and don't forget to watch your back. Huh. So a tiger claw called for help. Oh, God. <laughs> a tiger claw called for help because he was being hunted down by a known Tiger Claw hunter who has gone Cyber Psycho. Well, with that knowledge, there's absolutely no way I'm letting this Cyber Psycho die. He should be championed as a hero amongst the people for slaughtering tigers. The tigers are starting to think there's some vengeful spirit or demon haunting them. I wouldn't rule out the supernatural just yet, but I suspect there are more rational explanations at hand. Yes, I'd imagine you're probably right. Uh, hmm. Yes, looks like Aki's had some fun around these parts. I much approve. Now, who's this? That looks like it's probably a tiger, but let's run a scan anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just a, a regular old tiger claws thug by the looks of things. Now, before we go any further, let's check our loadout. We already know that we've got Lizzie on us, so <laughs> we're all right there. Yeah, that looks like decent. In fact, we're probably not going to have much call for a ranged weapon here, so let's replace that with Tinkerbell. I've been itching to try it on a uh, on a cyber psycho. Oh, oh, hello! I think we found Aki. Oh, wait. Oh, this, wait, hold on. I'm so confused. Is this no Norio Akuhara? Oh yeah, that's our guy. Okay. Oh, I. <laughs> Right, that was my bad. I completely misread what just happened there. I thought for a moment that the uh, the one in the motorcycle helmet that dropped down from the top had been slain. But uh, no, it was the other way around. Right. <laughs> Counting to three and you had better be gone. Oh, I thought for a moment there that he was... Uh, he was reluctant to actually attack us. Right, let's memory wipe you for a moment. Oh, here we go. Oh. Melee to melee. <laughs> Oh, the hello. Hell is this? Uh What? Oh no. Oh, I don't like that much. Oh no, sir. I don't like that at all. Oh, crap. He's healed back up to maximum as well. I think he's retreated further into uh further into the den. Right, let's have a look. Archive conversation between Masaki Asawa and Taki Keizo. I was collecting goods from the drop spot and think someone's out to ambush us. Only supplier Anas knows that spot, and he doesn't look the type to set up an ambush to get a grip. I don't know. T Taki. Taki Keizo rings a bell. Uh, I don't know. I got a feeling like someone was watching me, like something bad was going to happen. When I stood in the dark tunnel, I had this sudden feeling like someone was right behind me. It's in your head. Probably just your footsteps echoing some scary shadows. Look, I get it. I'd be nervous too if I thought the spot was compromised. I checked, and all I saw was Norio standing behind me. Didn't say anything, just looked. And then it was like he vanished into thin air. Yeah, we know that. Jesus, we know about that, don't we? That's a really nice Kusanaki. That's really nice. I want that. Right, let's have a quick look around, see if we get any more little hints as to what's going on. Um, Mempo, 1,300 eddies. Not too bad at all. Oh. Right, well, we know where you are then. Oh, we got another shard here. What do we got? Archive conversation between 
Uh, Norio Akohara, so that's our Cyber Psycho, and Dr. Colin Thevenaz. Hey, those pills you sent me stopped working, but don't worry, I found another way to deal with everything. I found my zen, and now all these tragedies are like water under the bridge in my garden of peace. Oh, I, I resonate with that so well. Is your zen perhaps sticking a katana through tiger claw skulls? Because, I mean, that really mellows me as well. Uh, what about the blackouts? The gaps in your memory? You're not sounding much better. Actually, you sound a bit worse. No, no, it wasn't memory loss. I freed my consciousness now, while then I was somehow shut off, not present. I had to test our people, for they had stopped being present as well. They can't sense the killing, the murderous intentions in the air. Um, what sort of test? And why is there blood in D Dokuga? What's going on? I read about the Saki test. I wanted to see if Soto's and Julia's deaths could have been avoided. Sota and Julia. Hmm, trying to think if I remember those names. Okay, and what's this test? Did everyone pass? You have to sense your approaching doom and react accordingly. Unfortunately, none have passed the test so far. <laughs> I think it's their blood that I'm treading through at the moment, so I think I found the cause for all my suffering, but I still hope, and I will continue my tests. You killed people from your own gang? Norio, put the books down and take your meds. <laughs> no, no, Doc. Leave it. I, I can see the, uh, the positive results all around me. Uh, oh, here we go. Um, boys? You might want to get out of here. Who are they? Animal's thick skull. <laughs> this is not the place you want to be chilling, guys. Seriously. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Uh, do a cripple movement on you. Whoa. Easy now, son. Easy. Oh. Nice. What? what? The hell? What are you doing? This is not your fight. Whoa. Whoa, easy. I'm getting attacked by someone else from behind here. What the hell? Been waiting for this. Whoa. Squeeze the big stride. This is not your fight! Oh my god! Right, there's someone in the back there that's gonna cause problems. Who's that? Valentina Sanguin. Oh no. Why? Why, have I got... Why do I have all gangs hitting on me now? No! Why? Whoa! Jesus. I can't heal either. I need to stay fit. Whoa! I want to stay fairly close because... Oh, God. Okay, he's harmless. <laughs> um, I need to stay fairly close because I want to go and pick up the... Uh, pick up the pieces after that... Um... Oh, God. What do you want from me? What? Go away! All the bloody Valentinos are piling in now. Whoa. Easy. Shit. Can't heal again either. Oh no! Run! Whoa! Why is everybody out for me? I don't want to hurt you, Valentino. Seriously. Oh my god. Shit. There must be. Uh... Uh, here we go. Right, there's one guy there. Let's. Oh, I can't system reset. Let's at least cripple movement on you, I guess. So you can't chase me down. And then there's this guy over here. Shit, where did the other guy go? Don't know where the other guy is, don't like this. Whoa. Whoa, no. Indeed, that's exactly what I thought. Oh man, I'm really, really having to battle for this 
<laughs> Whoa! Shit. Oh, shit, no. I'm really having to battle for this bloody Service cyber psycho victory, aren't I? And it's not even a cyber psycho that's putting up the fight. Right, you, stay put. Stay there. Stay. Oh, damn, this glass is too thick to run a... Run a quick hack through. Oh, this isn't, though. Oh! Oh! Listo para reventar cosas. Holy hell, that was more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> what is your problem? Holy crap. Okay. Wow, we've got some bodies to canvas now, haven't we? What's wrong with you? I wonder if they were... Wait, they weren't chasing me down because of what happened in the apartment? Surely not. I think I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think both the two animals that were lurking in that hallway and the... Um, these Valentinos, I think, were probably just round the corner. Just happened to be hanging out. And the gunfire drew their ire. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's head back through and pick up the pieces, I guess. So, let's see. You had Seiko's protective light layer tank. Or layer tight tank, even. Who's Seiko? I don't recognize that name. Here's the other animal that was uh, deftly put down. Right, let's just make sure there's no other opposition around here. Oh, hello. You got a legendary blade on you. I like the look of that. Oh, we got an archive conversation between Mas Masaki Osawa and Takehiro Chiba. Someone zero Taki Kozo yesterday. First that accident with Julia, now this. It all started after our boss Sota was killed. Think they're picking us off one by one? If they are, then it's by a trained hand. Taki's head was lopped clean off with a single slice. <laughs> no spirit could do that, nor a dime a dozen street punk with a chipped second-hand katana. Hey, I take that personally. So what are you suggesting? One of ours did it? Taki mentioned an ambush, swore that someone was hiding in a tunnel and watching him like a ghost. I told him it must all be in his head. God damn it. And speaking of, where's Norio been lately? Don't think he was at Julia's funeral, said it was an attack. Said he doesn't believe it was an accident. I don't know. Last time I saw him, he said he had to meet with uh, Yagyu Tajima no Kami on a spring day among the cherry blossoms. Oh dear, sounds like it was turning way back then. Maybe the poor guy snapped. I mean, he had a real shock. Lost the two people he cared about most at once. No, 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 he didn't go to any cherry blossom garden. Those are old samurai legends he tried to give me recently. He said I should read them and think about what they really mean. He said it was a matter of life and death that he senses the sake. Hmm, maybe he has gone off in the head. Oh, can confirm that is the case. Oh, wait. Oh, for the love of... Oh, no, we killed another one. <laughs> no, why? Why? Ah, oh, it's another one dead for the love... Archive conversation between Julia Lee and Norio Akahara. Was in and up with the new boss today. His skills leave a lot to be desired compared to Sota's virtuosity. Job wasn't clean at all. Took a couple of cuts to finish off some of the six streeters. Painful to watch. Why didn't you help him? I know you could have finished him off before he even managed to draw his blade. Wanted to give him a chance to prove himself. Hmm, maybe it's good he's got some practice. Sota always made that a top priority. Yeah, you ruined the shirt you gave me. Besides, I don't feel any kinship with him. Don't worry, you'll get a new shirt for our new life away from this failing gang. Oh, wow. They So they were... Him and Julia, who we found out has been killed, were uh, were due to go off together and start a new life. Hmm, I think a new shirt will come easier than a new life, but I guess we'll see. Sure, I hope I'm wrong. Tough ever since I started working on my zen. Uh, though ever since I started working on my zen, my insight's been much, much stronger. Ooh, so he was working on his zen before Julia was killed. So he started picking off his fellow gang mates... Which was probably messing with his, um, messing with his sanity anyway at the best of times. And then Julia was killed off, which is probably what pushed him over the edge. Oh, man. But, oh, we've lost him. Damn it. He's dead. I'm going to... Let's, let's move on through here. I wonder if we hadn't taken him down at that point, if whether, whether he would have actually reached this area through here. That could have got really messy if civilians were uh, in the middle of it. 
But let's go ahead and message Regina and see what's actually going on. Uh... Oh, that, yeah. I I think I might have to do the same here as I did with Russell Green. I think I may have to do a reload and take this fight on again. Try to preserve uh, Norio's life. But let's see what she says in this instance. So Norio is dead. The heir of murderer must have gotten to me. An heir of murder or Saki is from, uh, as From calls it in his book, Zen Buddhism and Psychoanalysis. The old samurai masters are, were uncanny in their skill at sensing incoming danger. Now he mentioned that, didn't he, in one of the shards that he was uh, that that was the test he was putting his fellow tigers through. Clearly, this ability didn't pass down onto the tiger claws at a price they paid paid dearly for. Some folks like Norio need to know the cause behind everything. He searched high and low for Julia's killers until he found them. At least he didn't die with lingering doubts. Hmm, that's uh, that's an unsatisfactory ending. That one. Um. Yeah, I think start of next episode, I think we might have to revisit this fight and uh, and see if we can't put it off with him still breathing at the end of it. But in the meantime, thanks very much for joining me. Really do appreciate it. Um, I wonder whether it's the 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 burn effect from Lizzie that actually took him down because he's still still roasting away there, isn't he? Hmm. Okay, we'll try a new tactic next time. But uh, in the meantime, if you'd like to leave a like or you care to leave a comment. Then pop those in the usual location, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye-bye now.